Hey there, this is Chad with Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode 21 of our series on the Thor Polysonic Synthesizer in Reason from Propeller Heads. Um, and we have gotten almost all the way through the front of this. We are on the Matrix. This episode is going to be about the modulation matrix right here. If you have if you have questions about any of these other modules, we've covered all of that. The last episode was about the sequencer down here and we're to, now we're going to talk about this matrix and what it is and what it does. And this is where the real power is of Thor because you can basically route anything to anything within this device, including what's on the back, um, which we'll cover that in uh, future episodes. But um, but yeah, le le let's get into it. So um, this is a patch where I've routed many things to many things. Um, just as not, I wouldn't say not even an extreme example of routing, honestly, just um, an example. So that's some some things you can do um, with it. Um, but let's illustrate. Ho hopefully, you've, by this point, you've seen me use the use the matrix for other things uh, in the course of this series. Um, so so you're not completely uh, clueless as to what it actually does, but um, how it does it can be confusing. So source um destination scale all right so let's understand those y usually the the important thing is the destination you know that's what you know you want that sound to change so let's let's use pitch for example it's since that's an easy one to understand so if i want to change the pitch the pitch is my destination so i go to oscillator one pitch and how do I want to change that pitch? Do I want it to be how hard I hit the note changes the pitch? Do I want it to be an LFO that changes the pitch? Do I want it to be an envelope that changes the pitch? Um, do I want it to be the key that changes the pitch? Like so, let's let's just do an easy one. Let's say LFO, LFO two. There it is. All right. Now, how much do I do I want it to be really subtle, or am I what what am I trying to do with it? You know. Um, so if I want it to be real subtle, then, um, here we go. Um, in this case, it, it's not a ton, but, um, but yeah, you can actually see the amount it's, it's going back and forth there. There's a number of Hertz that it's adjusting. Um, so that's, oh, we went positive, but it can also go negative. So that's a really simple example there of, of using source to destination. Now the last part, scale. So this one took me a little while to understand. Um, I want to, let's say, I want to scale it by where I'm at on the keyboard. So if I'm at the low end of the keyboard, I want it to affect it so much. And if I'm at the high end of the keyboard, I want it to affect it so much. Um, so you can do MIDI key note and let's 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 see so if i'm at the low end of the keyboard now too low now let's go to the other end of the keyboard nothing. Now you can hear it more. Back to almost nothing. The 
Francesca on the other end of it. So let's do an extreme amount and instead of MIDI note, let's do it by something more obvious like velocity. So if I hit it hard and this should be noticeable. All right, now I'm gonna hit it soft and here we'll turn off uh, one of these. And you notice it's actually more noticeable because I went to a negative number. So it's doing it less when I hit it hard because it's a negative number. Go the other way. Hitting it hard. Hitting it soft. But when you go to 100, uh, almost any, it, it makes it really noticeable no matter what you do just about. So just be aware that the extreme ends of that scale, uh, I don't know if that's on an exponential curve or not, but it seems like it is a lot of times because um, at the extreme ends, it's going to it's gonna be really noticeable no matter how light you try to be. Um, I've even done, I've even gone into... Uh, something I've recorded where I played it on keys and tried to play lightly and switched it all the way down to one, all the velocities down to one, and it was still noticeable. So I had to just go in and, and adjust my, my scale amounts. <clears throat> so that that's, that's it in terms of how all this works. Source, destination, and scale. And on this side of it, you've got a source, destination one, destination two, and scale. This last part, you this other little section here you got source destination scale one scale two so if it was like velocity plus um plus note uh location or something uh so many different things um so this is where you're um you know we talked about it way back in episode one the um the mod wheel like it doesn't do anything until you have assigned it um so if performance mod wheel that's our source and we want it to go you know pitch we already have a pitch bin so we're not going to send it to that we'll send it to your your filter frequency it's a common one um so <clears throat> and we don't need to worry about we'll turn the scale off and if you uh if you need to reset one of these um to back to zero hit can hold down control and click it and it sets it back to zero uh, just a FYI so we do need a filter there and we'll need some harmonics just for fun so there we go mod wheel adjusting the filter frequency but you know it can adjust any so whatever you like you know, so what if we do performance mod wheel, destination one, filter frequency, destination two, oscillator one, oscillator two, amplitude modulation amount. Um, so at the max, we want it to be full. And then frequency, we want it to sweep down when we're adjusting the frequency. And then um, oscillator two, I'm gonna make sure that that this AM amount that it's doing is going to actually be more like an LFO. So, so there we go. You know, we just two sources there. Um, and, you know, we could, we could scale it by velocity too. So just one more thing, you know, it's, it's really endless. Um, this is, this is where the power is. So when you get into playing with this, um, then, and you understand how this works, that's when you can really unlock the power of Thor. There are, well, I'm, I'm not going to go through every single one of these options because we've actually talked about all these options throughout the series at this point. Um, so if you're not clear on what some of these things are, then go back and watch another episode because all of these, it's referring to pieces of this we've already covered before. Um, so if, um, if 
there's a part of the uh, matrix that you'd like to hear more about, leave me a comment and let me know, and I can make an addendum to this, because um, this is confusing and complicated and not common uh, for everybody's day-to-day -day in terms of music making. So if you don't understand it and you want to, let me know, and um, and I'm happy to uh, to make an addendum and, um, and add it to this series. Um, so... Uh, we, we still have a few more episodes, um, and we're going to talk about the back of, uh, of Thor uh, and some of this uh, routing stuff, because that is also very, very valid um, and, and ties right into the power of the modulation. Um, just uh, as, a, uh, as a way out, um, I'll, uh, I'll show you a patch that I put together of uh, multiple Thors all triggered just to make a little sequence. So uh, this is uh, all together now, so thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.